What's up, everybody? It's Draymond Green. Make sure you subscribe to the Volumes YouTube channel below so you don't miss any more of this great content going forward. Rumor has it, I'm not sure if, if you've ever confirmed this or if anyone ever has confirmed it, but rumor has it that uh, we trade the Warriors, I can't say we because I was not here yet, but the Warriors trade for Andrew Bogut and they trade Monte Ellis to the Milwaukee Bucks. Andrew Bogut comes back. Rumor has it that the trade initially was for you to go to Milwaukee um, and Monte Ellis to still be here, Bogut coming in. Mm -hmm. The Milwaukee doctors, who probably should be fired. Um, <laughs> we fired everybody. I, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm on this whole notion of accountability. Everybody want to hold us accountable. I'm holding everybody accountable. <laughs> You you did it, <laughs> Milwaukee doctor. I hope they're still not the same doctor there, um, but Milwaukee doctors, they didn't approve your ankles. Said your ankles would be no good, and so they stopped the trade. And then ultimately, Monte gets traded. Uh, do you know that to be one hundred percent true? And at that time, were you expecting to be traded, or was when that news finally came out, was that news to you? The doctor part, like, I can't put a name to it, but I know that was a part of the conversation because it all happened at once for me. I know exactly where we were. We were in Sacramento. Um, there's a lockout year, so it's right at the trade deadline. We get to the arena and walk in the locker room. First, I was on the first bus. Monte usually comes on the second bus. Um, we were kind of, we were outside of playoff uh, seating, but we were trying to make a little push. Like we were like tenth, like maybe four or five, six games out of it. But we thought we had enough time to, you know, make a run. And we get in the locker room. And it's kind of a different energy, you know, around trade deadline. It's always like that, but this was different. And it was like it's a little quiet in here. Like what's going on? Mark Jackson's a coach of the town. Uh, it was his first year. Get in the locker room, and I'm getting taped, getting ready to play in the game. And you see across the ticker on in the on the TV in the locker room, like. Uh, breaking news, NBA trade, Warriors trade, Monte Ellis, Epe Udo, and somebody else for Andrew Bogut. And that's how we found out. So wow. We, we were on the locker room like, yo, what the hell? What, what? What's going on? So Monte shows up. He just got off the phone with his agent. His agent just called him. And this is maybe an hour and a half before the game, two hours before the game. So then, you know, he's kind of like emotional, but you know, kind of resolute and like this is happening, like forget y'all, like not 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 the team, but forget the organization <laughs> in terms of like he he was the true ultimate warrior. Like he was a fan favorite, deservedly so. We believe the last one from the League, mm -hmm. We Believe team uh had grown into a veteran, you know, presence and leader um in that respect. So it was a tough, <clears throat> tough blow for like all of the nation. It wasn't really received well. So uh that's how it went down. Everybody kind of said their goodbyes to Monte Epe, they left. And then Coach Jackson pulled me out at the locker room. He's like, yo, I said, I'll let you know, like, they wanted you in the trade. But for whatever reason, like, and that's part of the document, oh, that didn't go down like that. He's like, I kind of stepped into and said, I'm going to give you the keys. I felt like I really believe in you. We just got to get you healthy. And that's what the rest of the season is going to be about. So. You know, his line, don't make me a liar. <laughs> <laughs> don't make me a liar. <laughs> um, and so that I, I that was when it was like, the trade happened and like, oh, by the way, that could have been you type vibe all at the same time. Um, crazy, crazy day. I'll never forget that that moment because um, it definitely set the tone for what, you know, the next chapter is about to be about. <laughs>